Morning Endeavor. We show you uh, just off the east coast of Australia, and that morning's wake-up music is a message to Andy from Men at Work. And good morning, Houston, from Endeavour. Thanks for the wake-up call. And for all of us up here, all of you guys look like you're all down under. We're looking forward to a great day. Roger, so are we. Views of the uh, Pam Stu satellite uh, from uh, Endeavour. The uh, range to the satellite is about 2,000 feet. Uh, this is a station keeping position that Endeavour will uh, uh, basically match the uh, movements of the satellite for the next six to eight hours or so. This uh, satellite is a cylindrically shaped uh, spacecraft with uh, a size of about two feet by three feet. This is Mission Control Houston. Uh, the good news were reported uh, to the crew uh, from Chris Hadfield here in Mission Control that the attitude measurement system uh, has locked on to the uh, PAMS-2 satellite using uh, lasers mounted in one of the canisters uh, on the uh, experiment rack in the back end of Endeavour's payload bay. Hey, Houston Endeavour, do you still have uh, KU capability? I, should, I reckon I should say, do you still have a mile capability? Affirmative. We are watching uh, your camera view that you're downlinking. We'll have it for another few minutes. Okay, great. Just want to make sure you're getting it. We're getting a rock-solid image, and uh, we show that you're still tracking. Can, you can thank the, um, the Cecil B, the Mario, and Andy back in the uh, space app. I like Kurt Brown referencing uh, Mario Runco and Andy Thomas uh, operating the cameras, uh, providing the view of the uh, Pamstu satellite at a range of uh, about 1,740 feet from Endeavour. Endeavour Houston, we're with you on Tedris East, and the folks in the park again want to pass along their congratulations to the cinematographer and the key grip in the back. Just a fantastic picture, Endeavor. Thank you. And that's uh, coming to you from uh, Runco and Thomas uh, Productions. Uh, John, uh, we've just got a request uh, to delay the next Pam uh, Stu rendezvous uh, by a day, so uh, and uh, and we're going to accommodate that plan. It looks like that means essentially we'll swap flight day eight and flight day nine activities. And, of course, there will be a lot of impacts to that uh, beginning here, uh, gosh, uh, post-SEP. And so we wanted to give you a heads up on that. Uh, we're going to continue troubleshooting right now, but uh, the Pam Stu folks uh, think that uh, it will be real beneficial to them to give them just a little bit more time to analyze the data and uh, see if they can uh, come up with some workarounds to some of the problems uh, that they've been seeing. That's the direction we're headed. Uh, and, of course, uh, if you've got any uh, insights and in any suggestions as to uh, ways to uh, minimize uh, any uh, negative impact on the crew to doing that, uh, we'd sure like to hear that. Okay, I'll we'll copy that. Uh, we're just discussing the same thing on board, so it sounds like we're thinking alike. Uh, we don't have any suggestions on the, uh, on the laser ops. We'll continue taking all the video that we can, so uh, Linda can use that. Uh, of course, we've got plenty of, uh, we'll be glad to stay up here another day, and we've got plenty of prop for two or three more rendezvous. And we copy that, John, and uh, we'll make sure we uh, put that uh, in the list of options uh, that are considered. Uh, the, uh, of course, uh, of course, cryo is uh, cryo is the real uh, the real limiting factor for you. Uh, the lights are going down right now. I uh, appreciate anything you can do to put in a good word for us there. We'll, uh, we'll fight the good fight, John. Endeavor Houston for John. Go ahead, Bill. 
Yeah, John, uh, uh, of course, all, all kidding aside, uh, we, we did take a look at uh, your cryo margin, and uh, we just uh, we, don't, we don't see any way to uh, conserve enough cryo to really get an extension day. Uh, you know, of course, we're protecting uh, wave-off days, but uh, uh, we don't think an actual extension day is in the cards. John, uh, we we couldn't uh, we couldn't applaud those uh, those comments anymore. Uh, from a, from a ground standpoint, this is uh, one of the most exciting missions uh, most of us have been involved with, and uh, uh, gosh, we'd like to see it go on for a lot longer. The uh, story of the Mayor Cooperative Array began back. A couple of years ago, when team members from the International Space Station program conceived of the project that would boost the power on the Russian space station and provide invaluable information to the designers of the array for the International Space Station. The U.S. portion of the project was managed by NASA's Lewis Research Center. The uh, cooperative array project followed an aggressive timeline, taking less than two and a half years from the inception to today's uh, deployment. The uh, video that is being sent to us from the Mir Space Station uh, is, uh, was recorded during the spacewalk. In this particular view, an array on the base block of the module is the uh, article uh, towards the front of the picture, which is uh, straight. The cooperative array can be seen as a uh, accordion feature behind that array, and the uh, spacewalkers are in the shadow on the right-hand right side of the picture. To uh, once again orient this uh, particular picture, the uh, golden straight feature towards the uh, left side of the screen is actually an array that is on the base block of the Mir space station. Uh, the array that is being unfurled is an accordion feature that is uh, behind it. In this particular view, you can see the accordion uh, shape of the array as it's being unfolded a little bit clearer. These are pictures were recorded by NASA astronaut and cosmonaut researcher Shannon Lucid from the interior of the Mir Space Station. This is the second spacewalk of the week. In this particular view, you can see uh, the uh, heads of the uh, two spacewalkers and their uh, movements as they uh, uncrank the solar array. The uh, individual on the uh, lower portion of the uh, deploy device is cranking in a uh, slightly slower fashion. That's actually a little bit tighter crank. And then the, the uh, person, on the uh, spacewalker on the uh, far side is cranking at a slightly higher rate. This is a very physically intensive exercise. Uh, both men were uh, very re-entered into the space lot to complete the EVA. This particular piece of video was taken towards the uh, end of the uh, deployment. Overall, it took about three hours for uh, Anufrenko and Usachov to uh, deploy the entire array. Uh, it is a very physically demanding activity since it requires both men 
to a hand crank the array to its full extended position. After a brief pause to uh, switch out cassettes on the uh, Mirror Space Station, we are once again receiving a downlink of the uh, deploy of the Mirror Cooperative Solar Array. The uh, EVA today began uh, around 1 a.m. Moscow time, which was about midnight decreed Moscow time. That is the time with which the uh, Mission Control Center works with. The uh, crew members were back inside by about uh, 6 a.m. Uh, decreed Moscow time, which is about 7 a.m. Uh, Moscow time. Even with a, a little more light, it's uh, difficult from this position to uh, tell the two spacewalkers apart. However, the uh, two men that uh, did the job today for a joint project were Mir 21 Commander Yuri Onyefrenko and Flight Engineer Yuri Usachev. On the uh, left-hand side of the uh, array that runs down the center of the screen is the uh, boom crane. This was used to uh, move the solar array canister from the docking module where it was uh, stored for the launch to its position on the Cabot 1 module. The uh, canister was actually moved into position uh, early Tuesday morning Moscow time in preparation for today's array, or today's uh, spacewalk and deploy of the array, the uh, can the the uh, cables for the array also were run out and uh, positioned for today's activities. We have uh, completed the replay of the uh, spacewalk activities. This is now a live picture from the Mir Space Station. Uh, showing the uh, solar array in its deployed condition. Активно или нет? Нет, это пассивная. Пассивная. Это обратно.